Shalom, shalom to all of you for taking and thank you for taking the time out to um, look at and analyze and consider downloading the the PDF of the Basora. I want you all to know. I know um, people are trying to sell you things all over the internet every day. However, I am not trying to sell you just anything. I need for you all, if you say that you love the Father, if you say with your mouth that you know the Heavenly Father, it's important that you please hear me. All I'm asking you to do is to consider what I'm saying because it's something that if you've never considered this or if you don't know these things, I promise you it would help you in making your decision on whether or not to download this PDF copy, your own PDF copy of the Basor, which is the best transliteration of the scriptures today on the market, bar none. I guarantee it. And I'm asking all of you to please consider what I'm saying to you. Now, this is what they call a Basor. This book is called the Basor of Yahushua. And the thing about the transliteration today, you must find a scripture, whether it be the Basora or a book that translates from the original Dead Sea Scrolls text. Now, let me explain to you. Let me go and show you what that is. Okay. In the beginning, we had the Dead Sea Scrolls. The Dead Sea Scrolls is the oldest, the absolute oldest version of scripture that we have on the earth today. There's nothing, nothing on earth that provides you with an accurate translation of the dead of the Dead Sea Scrolls than the Basora. And it's very important that you understand what I'm saying to you. This right here, as you can see here, this is a copy, one of the copies of the Dead Sea Scrolls here. And you can see the father's name, Y-H-W-H, -H. Y -H -W -H. H. That's the name of the Heavenly Father that he gave our forefathers from the very beginning. See, the Dead Sea Scrolls have were hidden for over 2,000 years. And what you'll notice when you get the Dead Sea Scrolls, and they've been watching these, these guys right here who stole the information from the Hebrews, you got to keep in mind, they know the name. And here is his original name. Y-H-W-H -H is his name. Now, I want you to analyze. Remember, this is the Dead Sea Scrolls, and these are the oldest copies that you're going to find on the market. And all the copies we've gone to, we found, this is what you'll find. I can't read Hebrew. I can't read that. Most of us can't. However, what I've discovered and what you'll discover when you start looking at some of these, the different findings from the Dead Sea Scrolls, you'll see that the, this name right here comes out. This name right here. And this is the Heavenly Father's name. The way that he wrote it. The way that he gave it to us from the very beginning. And that name is Y-H-W-H. -H, Yahuwah. Wow. Now watch this. Let's watch this. I want you all to understand. You see this? This There's three forms of Hebrew. There's three different forms of Hebrew. You have your ancient, which is the oldest. This right here is ancient Hebrew right here. Y-H-W-H. -H. This is the oldest form of Hebrew on the market today. Y-H-W-H. -H. It's very important that you understand that. Okay, here we go. That's it right there. Y-H-W-H. -H. Now, let's, let's continue. But remember, that, that was the oldest form that was on the market. This right here is what they call modern-day Hebrew or Babylonian Hebrew. This is the style right here. This is the style that they use today. Y H W H Yahuwah. Yad He Wa He. In the in our alphabet, Y is Yad, H is He, W W is Wa, and H again is He. So it said Yah He Wa He, which is where we get Yahuwah or the name Yahweh. This is where we get it. Y H W H. Now this form of Hebrew is called Paleo. Remember, there's three forms. You have the ancient, modern, and Paleo right here. Paleo. This is the language right here that you find the Dead Sea Scrolls was written in. That's what you find here. Y H W H. And here you find it right here. In the Dead Sea Scrolls, 
exactly the way our Heavenly Father left it, right here. Y-H-W-H. What I'm showing you guys is something that your church, your pastor is not going to show or teach you. This is a PhD level teaching. I want you all to please hear me. That's why it's so important that you could you download your own copy of a basura. Now look at this. I'm let, let me continue. I want you guys to see this, please. This is the Hebrew alphabet. As you can see, it starts with an A. It ends with a T right here. The Ta. The Ta. The Ta is down here. It's right below. below. It's called the Ta. It's called the Ta. Y-H-W-H. Y-H-W-H. Called the Ta. Y-H-W-H. Now, let's do this. I want to show you in the scripture, when you download your copy, this is what you're going to get. This is called a PDF version of the Basor. This is what the scripture looks from, from front cover to the back cover. This is the entire scripture right here. You're looking at it. From page one, right here, you'll see it's on page one. And it says here, his name, Yuh, this is Paleo again, Y-H-W-H, Yahuwah, Yahuwah is with we pronounce this it from Yad, Hey, Wah, Hey. We get Yahuwah. But this is the original way the Father left us his name. Y-H-W-H. And this is the entire scripture right here you're going to get in the PDF. You will have the entire book from cover to cover. And if you want to find a page particularly, like the page we were just on, 1246, you go over to the corner over here. And you just type in 1246 and it takes you right to the page. And now we're back here, right here. We're in Philippians, which is page 1246 in your Basura. And look at this, y'all. I want to show you something. I want to show you that this name Basura was given to us from the very beginning. And look at this. Philippians 1 says what? It says, Shaw. In your scripture, if you're reading the Bible, it's going to say Paul. Remember, Shaw is his actual name. And Timothy, Shaw and Timothy, servants of who? There it is again, Yeshua. This is Yeshua's name, the original way, the way he gave it to us, not Jesus. It, you'll see Jesus nowhere. This is Yeshua right here. Spelled from right to left is his name. The Messiah. Yeshua, the Messiah. To all the set-apart ones in Messiah Yeshua who are in Philippi with the overseers in attendance. Number two, favor to you and peace from who? Elohim. This is why I was telling my congregation, you guys, we got to understand what Elohim is. And this is why they took it out. Now, if you're reading from the Bible, you're going to find right here, Elohim, they took this out of the original scripture and put in the word God. G-O-D, large G-O-D, right here. Everywhere through our scripture, if you read from a King James Version or NIV, you're going to see they took out the name Elohim and replaced it with the name God. Now, we're going to teach on that a little later, but I want you to see this. These are, it's very, very important that you download your own copy so you can see this for yourself. Now, look at this. Number two, favor to you and peace from Elohim. Who? Our Father. Our Father. But Elohim is plural for more than one God. So technically, when they put that in your Bible, they should have put capital G-O-D-S. S, because it's plural for more than one God. Elohim represents plural, more than one God. God. When you see in scripture where it says E-L, that means one God. You'll see it in scripture. I'll show it to you. Where it shows you one L. One L represents one God. When you see Elohim, it's plural for more than one God. And I'll show you that and teach that out later. So please continue to follow my teachings, but you need to have a basora to follow me. And this is the reason why. Now look at this. Our father and the master who? Yahushua right here. This is the way he gave us his name from the very beginning, Yeshua. And that's what you receive and what you get when you read from Basor. You get the original name of the Heavenly Father. They take out all the other Hebrew and they leave the Father's name and his son's name right here. Here's his son's name and here's the Father's name. The Father's name is Y-H-W-H. It leaves it intact. And that's what you see here. 
You see their names left exactly the way that he gave them to us from the very beginning. But this is what I want you to see this. I want you to see the Besor that he tells us about the Besor that is in our scripture. Look at this. Number four, in all my prayers for all of you, I always pray with you with joy. Number five, for your fellowship in the what? The Besora. Right there. You're seeing it for yourself. The scripture, the original scripture told us to read from Basora. And we've been reading from it from the very beginning. And it tells you this right here. Look at this. For your fellowship in the Basora from the first day until now. They took this all out, you guys. This is why I'm telling you, you must download you a copy of your own Basora for yourself. $9.95 is an excellent deal. Now watch this. I'm going to prove that to you. Look at this really quickly. Look at this. This is the Basora on Amazon. If you go to the Amazon right now, you can get a Basora, a used copy for $179.95. I want you to see this for yourself. I'm not making this up. This is on, if you go to Basora, if you go there right now, they have the other books as well. The scriptures, this book here, if you can't afford it, $16 is what this book costs. This book here is fine. You can read from this book as well. It, it does the same thing as this one. Doesn't read exactly like it, nor does it have everything in it that this one does. But it's still a good, I give all my ministers, this is why I pay, I pay for the church here. I buy these books right here because they're cheaper. I can't afford the other books for everyone. So I buy these books. They're $16. So if you want this book, you can get this book and you'll be okay. This book or the book from Lou White. This book is a fine book as well. If you go to our website, we, we, we will link you to all these books from our website. Now, right here is the scriptures. But I want you to see the Basora and see the cost of the Basora. It's very important. It's very important. Look at this. If you want, you can get these. These are used. This is for the used ones. If you want a new one, Look at this. I want you to see. These are the only new ones left in the world. They only printed 144,000 of this Basora. So this is a new one. Only this company has the new ones left. Only this company has them. Indies Trading. They have some new ones. And they're selling theirs. So look at this. $99. There's one for $151.28. Here's one for $720 for a Basora, you guys. Look at this one. For a new one. $777.77. You're seeing it for yourself. I can't make this up. As you can see, these are all different vendors here. The only one that has three copies new left is this guy right here, Indies Trading. And you can get them for $99. Now look at this. I want to let's go back for a second. Let's look at the use. Those are the ones that's used. And look, look at the use. I want you guys to see this. This is why this, this this is why this book is so expensive. I want because why? This is the book the most high told us from the very beginning to read from Basora. Why? It contains information in this book that's nowhere else. And look at this, you guys. Look at the cost on this book. This is a used copy. Look at this. 80 bucks. Look at this. 77 bucks. 78 bucks. For a used copy, you guys. Look at this. 133 for a used copy. Very good shape. Look at this. I'm not making this up, you guys. Look at this. Look at this. A used one in good shape. $1,299. This is, you cannot get this book. This book is so expensive because of what's in it. That's why they've always made things as good for you. Hard to get in this country. Really quickly, I want you guys to see really quickly before we before I leave, I want you to see this. I want you to see this for yourself. You can go to you can go to Amazon right now and buy this book right now. You can see used directly from Amazon for one hundred and seventy nine dollars and ninety five cent, or you can get it paperback. Get it in paperback for seventy seven dollars, or you can get it used, and I've showed you prices. Or you can get any of these books you see here. This one here by Lou, Lou White, which is a pretty good read. The Scriptures, which is a pretty good read. And The Sefer. These are all brand new books compared to this book, The Basora. On Amazon costs what? $179.95. Before I leave, I want you guys to take a look at this video that tells you exactly what a PDF copy is. I pray you all download your copy today liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. E-D-F.
That stands for the Portable Document.